Hey everybody, sorry I had to reload this uh, because apparently um, there was a copyright thing. Um, not that it affected me or anything, but apparently because of the music or something that was on the very beginning of uh, this episode, um, it was not going to be allowed to be seen in some countries. So <laughs> that's not going to work for me. So I took that off and I reloaded it. It's the same thing, nothing's changed. I just had to take out a little uh, clip. Uh, so please... Now, enjoy this, uh, uh, this, and uh, I hope you, uh, I hope you will check these guys out. All right, bye bye. You're watching Spirit Box Paranormal Dundee. Welcome. I'm to do an investigation in my house for a spirit that we've seen in the house, and that it's terrified us at times because we've seen it and it's just terrifying. Is the spirit that I see in the hallway here tonight? Well, by me. You just don't know behind you. That is a really, really cool, cool place. I'd love to go investigate there. What an awesome location. I think that'd just be great. Let's get past <laughs> Candle down. Now we end site for you guys. We can't disclose the, inf the information exactly what site we're at. But we are at an old military base. Somewhere in Scotland, we're going in what we think could be a bunker. Used to be. Or used to be a bunker. Here. The old gun turret. Right, so basically, we just went around in a circle. Bugger! I got super excited there. From what I can tell you, this site was used until now. Watch yourself, Andy. Until 1963, see if I go this way, like I'll beat Andy to it. Hello, Andy. Let's mm. take a long way. Andy. Yes, I know, I've just noticed. <laughs> He's behind you. I'm <laughs> <laughs> hand in nettles. Be careful, mate. Right. Oh, you fucking bastard. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> eh? How's the pheasant? Fucking hell! I'm coming here to do a paranormal investigation, a fucking shite pair to a fucking bird. <laughs> really? Whoa, 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 stop. Don't feel bad, mate. Same thing happened to me when I was investigating, but it was a duck. <laughs> They're both behind the lights, so whose bloody shadow was that? They're in the Royal Marines base. Oh ho! Oh ho 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 ho! Oh no, there's obviously something of importance behind this door. Turn left. As you can tell, Andy's going back to the toilet to review. <laughs> to, to retrieve his phone. Hey Andy, just a tip, eh? Me and my boys, we just shut our phones off. We don't leave it in a toilet eight miles away uh, so it doesn't interfere. <laughs> So it looks it looks structurally it looks safe. So like under part of it of the stairwell. Two awesome lessons here. First, make sure that where you are is safe. And second, here he points out the dust, so not to be confused with orbs. 
Right, take your time, be careful. There is a lot of dust kicking about. Right, there's no way we can walk in there. Oh. It's riddled with damp. Nice. The safety of yourself and your team are paramount. It's not worth the risk. Good choice. Right, so it looks like first level seems to be safe. Okay, for your new people, that's what I'm talking about. Daytime walkthrough first. I think it's going to be safe to say that we will be having an investigation here. I haven't seen this in a long time. An old school human spirit detector. Allowing the energies around you uh, to be able to move, answering yes or no questions. Good job. As shown here, uh, one of the other reasons I respect this group is because they make sure whether something's natural or unnatural uh, as it happens, which is really pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, look at that! <laughs> you see this lid doesn't like me at all. <laughs> Steve, you got your phone on? Yeah. Switch it off. Do you want me to put airplane mode on? No, just switch it off completely. Could be the radiation coming off your phone, it's admitting EMF. Right, you it's still there. Daryl, you just walked in the hair there. Off. Well, that is now. That's what that was. Mm -hmm. Ask him. Ask him something like, "What year it is?" Money. 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 Okay. Six hundred. Yeah, that is worth six hundred. Yeah. Six hundred twenty. Sound like somebody said evening. Hi, Paula. Behind you? Did you say behind me? I really like the way that the young lad reaches out to the spirits to comfort them. I come in now and you just sit down right beside me. I'll keep you safe. The board is a great tool, but if you use it, make sure you know how to open and close it properly. If you don't, you can come up with a whole world of new circumstances you don't want to deal with. Remember, it's a tool, not a toy. Your name is John Kitchen. <laughs> are you the resident? <laughs> how old were you? Use the dumbbells and tell us how old you were. Forty-nine. Where are you forty-nine? 
Did you have any children? Okay, so there's a good example of, of proper use. So make sure you open and close doors and whatever you do, do not taunt on a board because you have no idea who might be listening. This is neat. Yeah, move your phone. You're doing really well. You can use use as much as our energy as you need to get it going a wee bit quicker. Thank you. Thanks guys, that's an awesome, awesome experience. I'm going to try that myself, uh, do a few tests and see how it turns out for myself. Thank you. We have three cameras set up. We had a camera set up in the McLeod room, which is formerly known in Dundee as the Bagpipers room. In the meeting room, we also had another camera set up in the, the famous well-known reading room, which was originally called the Watchmakers room. Out of these three rooms that we've done the investigation, we have not had any paranormal activity in this room, even though people have reported that there has been an apparition of someone standing at the bottom of their bed when they're waking up and presenting themselves to them. Now because we didn't capture it that night on the camera inside this room, does not formally mean that people didn't see what they saw. We will leave the room. Yeah, we will be back. We will leave a few minutes. Now, keep an eye on the shadow of the cupboard as well as uh, the candlestick that you can see in the shadow and the candlestick itself. Keep a watch on that. I'll show you now. I had it away up here. Oh, too sorry. I had it away up here. So when the when the blend's on, it's it's going really fast. Um, when I first started using, it, I had it in default, which is a little bit slower. So go out there, guys. Play with that. Um, the, the best thing that I can advise is don't go in there and muck about. Everybody in here was Melbourne. You can come and speak to me. I'm ex Melbourne myself. Maybe say some sins from your time. I got two in there, one touched my face and one pulled on my back. Personal experiences are proof for the person receiving them, and it's good to have. Thank you for the noise that you made before. Look, could you please make another one? Oh, wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got dancing up. Yeah. Come on, Alice, make a noise. Can you do that again for me? Come right towards the camera like you done a minute ago. Okay, I'm not the biggest believer in orbs, but that one, yeah. I will have to say, in my opinion, that's a spiritual orb. Uh, that was a really good catch. Well done. Yeah.
We've been working on here, lights. We've been working on here. Guys, try and tell me your names if you can. My name is Sean. Another investigator I've got with me is Paula. Do you need help? I'm fine. Terrified. Terrified. Who's terrified? John. John but oh, the battery's been drained from it for some strange reason. I'll let you see. That was fully charged before we started broadcasting. It's on zero percent. That's crazy. You got the keys, yeah? Right, guys, you want to stick close to me and I'll take you down to where the bunkers are? Yeah, all's good. Okay, Jason Bones, thank you very much for that. Appreciate that message. This is actually a better phone for going live with than the, the other one we just went live with. You alright? Yeah. We're right at the bunker now. So this is one of the air raid shelters. Hopefully he's just still getting alive. <sighs> Friends of the unknown, welcome to Life Feed. Thanks for coming in. And here's the other one. The other bunker. This, this is the one that was falling to bits, wasn't it? <sighs> And then this part here is the escape hatch. I know. School Tricks is using a bell. Good job, guys. Yahoo! <laughs> Hi guys, for life. Uh, don't just stand there. He said you need to look alive. Look alive. <laughs> alive. We're alive. Yeah. Rolling. Right, yeah, so, hello, rolling. hello guys. Right, I'm going to give you a quick summary of the first video because we're having issues with YouTube about it. So, okay, obviously we're here at RAF Jackdorf, RAF Dunedin, Dunedin sorry. So, so. We might come back and speak to you again. Hey guys, that's my special over and done with. Thanks for watching. Okay. And uh, catch you again soon. Cheers. All right, so there you have it. Uh, that's pretty good, huh? Uh, so one, one, uh, uh, one or two things. Uh, number one, uh, it's a good thing that people record everything that they do because if in case you, you know, forget, you know, something like, oh, your phone uh, everybody else can see uh, that you did and uh, you know give you the thumbs up for forgetting uh, your phone uh, and the other thing is obviously uh, this group is never gonna be investigating a haunted farm uh, because uh, the chief neck and bottle washer uh, is afraid of birds so do we, you know the chickens and stuff we can't uh, we can't you know so he won't uh, be doing no farm uh, but otherwise I really hope you enjoyed this they're good folks so go ahead, they're a lot of fun, check them out, and uh, hey, welcome, you made the list, you are now CBAS approved.